Fashion may back behind bars. We'll tell you who he is and how he may have been able to escape. Then we take a look back at a man arrested in connection with drag racing in the hub city. And how you can help the Vermilion Parish Animal Shelter avoid euthanizing any animal. Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is Paz Patu. Good morning and happy Easter to you, Acadiana. I'm Renee Allen. We begin with an Evangeline Parish inmate who escaped while working on cleanup detail. According to the Sheriff's Office, he's been found. Joseph Germain Charles walked away from the jail around 7 Saturday night. Authorities say Charles is back in custody. In other words, he's back behind bars. We're told he was in jail on a probation hold. Lafayette police arrested the suspect in a reckless driving incident that took place last weekend when officers were called to a shopping center for reports of drag racing. They pursued at least one of the suspected drivers, but ended that pursuit because it became unsafe. The man, police say, fled from officers, is now in custody. News 10 for LaFosso brings us more on how police are cracking down on drag racing. Tuesday evening, Lafayette police arrested Jamarius Lamar Charles of Lafayette and booked him into the Lafayette Parish Jail. Police say Charles fled from an officer Saturday night while the officer investigated a reckless driving complaint in a shopping mall parking lot. Charles now charged with reckless driving flight from an officer, disregarding a traffic control signal and speeding, among others. Police say Charles was part of one of 12 incidents of drag racing, speed racing and drifting on Saturday night. Surveillance cameras at KLFY News 10 captured one of the suspected group of speed racers at a nearby gas station. LPD now cracking down on these reported incidents. Our plans going into the future are we're going to be in, we're going to be putting out more cameras in strategic areas to help with identifying these acts as they are happening and to help us identify the major people who are responsible for these car meets. They say drag racing and drifting can cause the driver to lose control of their vehicle, which could lead to loss of life and serious injuries to people and businesses. That was Britt LaFazzo reporting, and remember, he was in custody Tuesday. Just keep in mind, he may have been released since then. Lafayette police say if you see something, say something. And also, if you see a group of cars suspected of drag racing, call the LPD or Crime Stoppers at 232 TIPS. The Louisiana Office of Community Development aims to distribute $600 million to help the state recover from Hurricanes Laura and Delta. Last week was the final chance to submit some feedback on this on the over 180 page hurricane action plan. Part of the process to distribute this money started with the public comments last March. The department held town hall meetings across the area and those especially affected um, to hear from the public on this. We're at a different place in the recovery than we should be. It took way too long to get the money here. But now that we have it, what's the best way for us to spend it for a full recovery? He also says some of that money will be spent on making Louisiana more resilient and the state can recover faster when intense storms roll through in the future. The family of a Lavia boxer, Brandon Broussard, got the justice they waited for. The last of two brothers convicted in his shooting death has been sentenced. Brandon Broussard was shot and killed after he beat Carlos Toby in a fight in a nightclub. Monday, Toby was sentenced to 25 years for conspiracy to commit second-degree murder. In February, his brother Chavez was sentenced to life, plus 30 years. Broussard's mother, Barbara, says the family is pleased with the verdict. She says they will now try to move on. It's a bittersweet moment because you're happy because you're getting justice. But the justice doesn't bring our son back. Carlos also has to pay $16,000 in restitution. Meanwhile, the Vermilion Parish Animal Shelter is faced with euthanizing their animals because of overcapacity. As News 10's Rodrika Taylor reports, it's an issue the shelter is trying to overcome. 
It's a decision they didn't have to even consider for eight years. Vermilion Parish Rabies Animal Control Mission is to take care of as many animals as possible, but they are at capacity, forcing them to think otherwise. I don't know what the problem is, uh, that there it seems to be a lull in animals leaving our facility, and it seems to uh, not be happening as frequently as it was in the past. Debbie Garrow, who manages the facility, says they are more than 30 dogs over capacity. We have numerous dogs in large wide crates uh, because there is no regular kennel to place them in. She says if no one can rescue these animals, they will have to be euthanized. I can't even go there because it is my decision. And so I can't even go there right now. Can't. While News 10 was at the shelter, a man brought four more dogs in. She says he threatened to kill the dogs himself if the shelter did not take them. It's not the perfect life for a dog, absolutely not. But it is better than what they come from. Many dogs come to us, but they're nothing but skin and bones. While the number of surrenders increases, Garrow is looking for other opportunities to keep the euthanizations at zero. I agreed to work for the police jury in this capacity to help them to make Vermilion Parish Rabies Animal Control a better place for all. Um, that is my mission. The shelter says their biggest need right now is fostering. If you would like to help, you can contact the shelter. Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10. And counting forward from Tuesday of last week, the animals have seven to ten days until a decision has to be made. Saturday, we tracked down, guess what, or better yet, who? The Easter Bunny. He was in Scott riding through the town on one of the city's fire trucks. The Easter Bunny went through all of the neighborhoods wishing everyone a happy Easter, especially the little ones. And spreading more Easter joy continued at Acadiana Park on East Alexander Street in Lafayette yesterday at Easter Egg Hunt was sponsored by Tiny Tracks Train Rental and Studio Pretty and Pink. There was music, food, games for the kids, and pictures with the Easter Bunny. From spring break to religious holidays, people will be gathering all over this weekend, but with the COVID cases ticking up, should we be concerned from Good Friday to Easter? Here's a look at all corners of this holiday weekend. Millions of people will be traveling this weekend as multiple holidays converge. Many say they're trying to make up for time lost during the more restrictive chapters of the pandemic. It's a holiday weekend, the likes of which we haven't seen in a very long time. Bay Area faithful will be celebrating Easter and Passover this weekend, and the Muslim holy month of Ramadan coincides with both for the first time in more than 30 years. And with most COVID restrictions lifted, for the first time in two years, many are ready to celebrate together in person. Today, people joined together for Good Friday services at St. Dominic's Catholic Church in San Francisco. It was a beautiful feeling, no question about it. I felt God there today. And Rabbi Moshe Langer with Chabad of San Francisco hosted a much bigger community Passover Seder than last year's small gathering. We're going to have a beautiful Seder, 200 people, and uh, we're completely booked up. And with many kids on spring break, it is expected to be a busy travel weekend as well. But it comes as COVID cases are spiking in some parts of the U.S. Feels um, awesome, but at the same time, it's also scary. It's good to travel home without having to do any testing or anything to go home. Um, it's quite stressful coming here, having to do tests to come here, but it felt safe. California's positivity rate has risen above 2% over the last seven days. Experts are expecting a post-holiday bump in cases, but say there is still good news. I'm very concerned about a potential spike in cases in the community. However, if things go as we expect, and I'm crossing my fingers, the hospitals will remain quiet, and that's really what the power of the vaccines and the immunity force field is. Despite all of these planned gatherings, California's health secretary says the state has no plans to impose any new pandemic-related restrictions. In San Francisco, I'm Sarah Donchi, KPIX 5. Okay, one more Easter story for you. I love stories like this, especially when it involves children. In Charlottesville, Virginia, the Easter Bunny made a surprise visit to 
Kids at a children's hospital. The Easter Bunny handed out Easter basket and goodies to the little ones. Donations were raised during a tournament last month to help make this all possible.